Meet Black-Eyed Susan. Let's learn a new flower friend today. Black-Eyed Susan is part of the aster family, and the cool thing about aster family plants is that they all have this disc here in the middle, but then these ray petals that go around the outside. Now, what you might not realize is most people think of these as the petals, but they're not the true petals. Botanically speaking, the flower parts with the stamen, the pistil, the ovary, all the parts that would make the seeds, and even some petal parts are actually in the center of the disc. These are ray petals. These aren't true petals. And so what will happen in the fall when this flower dies and dries up is there could be hundreds of seeds that would form in a flower like this, depending on how big the disc is, because there's so many little notches and they're so small, I can't even show them to you on this flower because they're so deep in there. But aster family plants are all the same. They all have this disc with the fuddles that go around the edges and you can kind of imagine it like a, a daisy or a um, like a sun with rays coming out, so a sunflower. So aster family plants are really neat because you can get hundreds of seeds out of the middle and the real flower parts are actually hidden in there. So meet black-eyed seeds, Susan. Rudabecchia is her scientific name and she's a good one to add to your list of flower friends. For more videos like this, click the subscribe button. You can follow me at botanyinanhour.com to learn how to share your love of plants with your own children. And you can also follow me on social media on Facebook and Instagram.